Dwight Howard, it's just another night of dominant basketball behavior. Good evening and welcome to Bucks Basketball. Jim Paskey with John McLaughlin. Glad to have you along with us and we are certainly happy to be at home after a disappointing one and three road trip for the Bucks. And John, I think you'll agree with me. One of the silver linings this week has been the play of Ursan Ilyasova. Boy, it sure has, Jim. And of course, Scott Skiles is giving him the minutes because he's earned the minutes. Now, there are times the jumper doesn't quite go, but what he's doing, Jim, is playing defense. And you can see on plays like this, his team defense, his anticipation is great. So he's been a good defender inside on big men and a help defender. He's been tremendous on the boards at both ends, defensive and offensive, Jim. And he can shoot that jumper just well enough that when he steps out and faces up they must play him but he's a scrapper he brings it every night that's why scott skiles loves him so much right now <laughs> All right. great shot blocker behind any kind of pressure they want to bring in howard Ilya Sova back for god's reach he's i would wait and see how badly howard's beating you i i fear their threes more or if they're missing their threes what's well, going to score outside the paint for you he doesn't have to do it for me yeah he was going to Ilya Sova three-pointer you can run this team. Have an opportunity. Kirk Thomas open again. Guess who's battling for the rebound? Anybody else that goes there can drain it. Just Howard can't. So you got to break this one down by individual. Ilya Sova back away. Charlie Ward size, too. You know, you think they're bigger than they are. Charlie Ward was, of course, a Heisman winner. And Great quarterback at Florida State played in the NBA. Jennings runs high, Glasser doesn't go. Everyone knows what he plays. And Howard to roll with the court spread. They can get into position in the paint differently than the classic post up centers of the past. Way outside. Delfino three pointer way behind. Doesn't. And, and the point is, too, he hasn't needed them. Now, as he gets older, perhaps he'll need them when he slows up and can't rely on his great athleticism. Oh, oh man. man. That was a, a Johnny drop. Macker. <laughs> that wow. was a Johnny Macker by Ilya Sova. That fell out of a cloud. Woo! Bango! Rainbow! <laughs> Beauty. We'll come back to that, Jim. Offensive. Rashard Lewis. Let's come back to that discussion about Howard. You don't know he's not a typical low post catch with his back to the basket. Take a look at the rainbow here. That was more than a rainbow. That just dropped right out of the heavens. But, you know, Jim, the way they don't double team him, if at all, until he puts the ball down. Ah! I don't who? know what you call that. It's a shot, a rebound, and a make for really Body of 38, it won't matter what he does. <laughs> Lewis goes to the left hand. Here's San Elias Silva. Great start tonight with eight points, five rebounds, and he's had some help. Charlie Bell. Ilya Silva. Thought about a shot. Drives, and he's fouled by Ryan Anderson. You know, the thing about keeping Gortat on both ends, you need somebody. Oh! Sorry, Jim. Who doesn't stand and watch Akeem Warwick do that, but you need somebody to come okay. in. For Where does this energy come from? I don't know. We have it, too. Let's ride this second win. Ilya Sova just running into set screens, popping out. Didn't hit the shot, but he worked hard to get it. He does, Jim. I mean, if you, you really appreciate him if you watch him off the ball all the way around. Well, I don't want to say this, but I will. Charlie Villanueva would set a screen, and he would not run to the next spot on the floor. It was a weakness of his, and Ilya Sova, John, makes such a difference in executing the offense in terms of that type of thing. Warwick has 10. Well, and, there's and, no, and I hate to call out a guy, but it's an upgrade. And there's no comparison to this end, the defensive end. I mean, it's not even right. in the same universe. And, and Charlie knows that we're not ripping on him because he contributed offense and did a lot of good things. Redick with a three-pointer for six. No question. But if you want to break down their games, we can... Uh, Point where each is better in some areas. Ilya Sova brings a lot of game in a lot of areas. Warwick has 12, and I can hear Charlie saying, "Yeah, Jim, George Blaha is better than you in Detroit too." Well, that's true too. 
<laughs> so are the other 28 guys. But well, you've got me. So I kind of lift you a little, and now you're back at the front. Da, 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 I'm, you're, hey, you're taking a lot of time there. Did you hear what happened in Detroit last night? Meeks for the situation in Detroit, yeah. but uh, it did not come out of the air. That's a push, no foul. Oh, come on. This Scott Skiles right is up and can't believe it. Jim, you and I had it seemed to go up because I think Jennings might have been able to tap it again. Oh, 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 no foul. Good. You know what, Jim? Deep catch, Elias Soba, and he draws the foul. See the ball movement, Jim? Warwick, Rittenauer changed positions. Rittenauer goes to the corner. Now they've got a good angle for the post-up on the Elias Soba box. Rashard Lewis picks up the third foul. Let's take another look at that block shot. My eyes must have deceived me. It did, did hit the bottom, yeah, but it was yeah. after the block. Yeah, it's a, it's a, what I was trying to say that he blocked it and then Jennings continued on through with it and then it hit the bottom. So it was it was a double whammy on that one and then Ilya Silva on the line. Rebounded a very strong rebounding team and they're doing it without Bogan. They moved the ball beautifully to the corner for Charlie Bell's three-pointer. The assist, Ilya Silva. Ball well, movement, Jim, gets the look. He's played 13 minutes. Delfino. Uh, Ilya Silva always around the ball. Not this time. Points. Double-double now. 11 and 11. Screen and pop. He's averaged 14 points and over eight. But Jim, you know, use him as a screen guy. If he's making that jumper and he pops, now he's going to extend the defense. Delfino oh. says, Petrus, I'll see you later. My goodness. Now, now, what do you like about it? Then he just runs up the floor. No demonstration, which we saw a lot of last night in Oklahoma City from that group. That may be the most vehement block we've seen in a while. Jennings three. You know what? Teardrop. Eight on the shot clock. Elia Silva. See, Jimmy shoots it up instead of in. You got to fight that. Look how they try to get up and squeeze him. They don't want him to get going, Jim. So they come up. Look at this shot. Elias Silva. My goodness. Over the back of Lewis. And he had Carter on the other side. How about that? Look at, Look at the crowd. Up. They're up. They're up for the energy and execution and effort that the Bucks are putting forth tonight. Scott Skiles. Please, with what he is seeing, the Bucks lead the Magic by 12, 541. And I'll tell you what, that's what we're talking about right there. Tonight against the Chicago Bulls. 11 points, 12 rebounds for Ursan Ilyasova with a pair. Always difficult. A lot of basketball left. See, good execution. They come off the screens. Ursan's the last guy to...